Back to Lincoln and the Constitution, for me, one of the most inspiring, of, all, of the extraordinarily inspiring things you talk about with Lincoln was his speech to the Lyceum, of, uh, where he talks about the importance of the rule of law and gives the most eloquent defense of civic education and the need to study history in the Constitution ever. Describe it. No, it's an amazing thing. So he's a young guy, and he gives this speech to the Lyceum, and the context of it is that um, there's a lot of violence in the country at that time. Abolitionists are being killed by pro-slavery people. Blacks are being lynched in the South. And he's worried that the rule of law is not being followed. So he gives a speech and he says he's worried that in such a time of concern like this, anxiety, that people will put somebody in power who want to wants to tear down rather than build up. And he warns us ag against a Julius Caesar or some sort of autocrat that might come into our being. And the answer is for the people of the United States to keep reading about the Constitution, keep reading about the Declaration of Independence. He said that the scenes of the revolution were fading, and he worried that we were forgetting what we, to, what we fought for and the ideals of our country's founding. So he said people should be reading these things like you read the Bible to your kids, read them every night. You know, just make people understand what it is that we as a people are and then that's the way we'll be able to tear down that kind of dictator should he arise. It's an incredible statement, and it really is talking about civic education and the importance of our remembering as citizens what this extraordinary beacon of hope is that we were founded on. I mean, what he kept arguing always was that it wasn't just that he was fighting for the North and the South to remain together as physical entities, that what the Constitution and the Declaration meant was that ordinary people could govern themselves. We didn't need a king, we didn't need a dictator. And if the South could siphon off from the North and maybe someday the West would leave the East and it would prove to the world that ordinary people can't govern themselves, that you need that larger authority. And that was what he was fighting the revolution for, I mean, the, the Civil War for, it was that big, that idea. And he wanted everybody to remember that idea. He was the best. <laughs>